No sooner are the 10-day Extinction Rebellion protests over and the tensions over government policy on climate change are back in the headlines. Today, the government's fracking SAR has quit, saying environmental activists are driving policy and the government is being too restrictive. I think the position is completely unviable at the moment. Unless the government actually reviews the restrictions that it's put onto the shale gas industry, there isn't going to be an industry. So there's really very little point in having a commissioner for shale gas if there isn't an, an, an industry there to reflect it. Fracking in the UK has been controversial. One of the main sites in Lancashire was out of action for seven years after earth tremors were felt nearby. They restarted last year, but have been paused on numerous occasions since then, when tremors of magnitude 0.5 or above have been recorded. But Natasha Engel says this threshold is too low, prohibiting fracking from ever going ahead properly. I'm saying the limit needs to be reviewed. It, it's the geologists and the scientists and everybody else who's saying it's far too low. I'm saying review the limit. If it can be raised safely, then allow it to be raised. If it can't be, then, then don't. But it's just a scientific review of the data and the facts rather than going with a very loud, very well-funded environmental movement. Today, the government said they work with scientists and the industry to produce their regulations and are confident they strike the right balance to allow the industry to develop safely and responsibly. Natasha Engel has resigned from her role today. She says the reason for her resigning is that regulations are too tight, which means it hampers the industry. Does she have a point there? Definitely not. The industry itself did agree to these regulations in the first place. So it's only at the point at which it's showing that fracking can't happen with these regulations that the industry is now saying, oh, hang on a minute, can we now relax the rules? If we can't do fracking uh, under safe rules, obviously it shouldn't happen at all, but it shouldn't happen anyway because of the climate emergency. Natasha Engel's role was meant to bridge the gap between concerned local communities and the fracking industry. But environmental campaigners have raised questions about objectivity, as she's worked for the fracking industry in the past. Greenpeace's investigative unit, Unearthed, submitted freedom of information requests for correspondence between the commissioner and fracking companies. But she told Greenpeace she was unable to give them all of the emails, as she often deleted them once actioned. She's been systematically deleting her email correspondence by her own admission and failing to uh, keep notes of meetings that she may have been having. So that stops her from being able to be held to account. Transparency should be a prerequisite of that role. And so as a result of that, we expect the government to conduct an investigation to see what's going on. Pressure around how we halt climate change is mounting. Today, a cross-party group of MPs call for an immediate moratorium on fracking. And on Wednesday, MPs will vote on whether to declare a climate emergency. And we asked Natasha Engel to come onto our programme to explain her reasons for quitting and to respond to the Greenpeace allegations, but she declined to comment on the issues raised. We asked the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy whether Ms Engel's actions had breached their guidelines. But they said they were unable to comment as an internal review is underway.